Hi friends, friends, and other six people. My name is Purple Fair Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Volt SMP. This is Volt Squared. That's season two, episode eleven. Um, so I want to get off. I want to start off the video uh, with uh, doing the sub, the subscriber, the sexy subscriber of the day. Uh, hopefully, I didn't put him already. Did I? No. Okay. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. That's fine. Uh, my internet is five bars right now, but I think the CPU might be up because Husky has been AFK for a long time. But Enderman Gaming 101. Oh, yeah, just Enderman Gaming 101 doesn't fit. Sorry. But <clears throat> yeah, he was on the last wall, but he's going to be on this wall too because he's a very amazing person. And uh, that brings me to my next point. <clears throat> Make sure to um, comment down below if you want to be a subs uh, the sexy subscriber of next episode. Obviously, you have to be subscribed and uh, just be active on my channel and you will get your chance eventually. So, um, I do have face cam on. I have face cam set to, because uh, on Marilla's action, it has a face cam feature, which is amazing because it's probably one of the only screen recorders other than OBS, which is more so for live streaming. That actually allows me to do face cam within the software, which is just amazing. But I have it to always record. And if you didn't notice, my hair is purple. I don't know if it picks up in the face cam, but it is purple. So um, I might do like a, a video with my camera so it's better quality. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do face cam a lot more often. But um, anyway, I just I just wanted to talk about this and then we'll get right into what we're doing with the episode. Uh... First of all, what we're doing this episode is I'm going to be making a house where I'm going to have my enchant table. And, um, it's going to be like a library type of thing. Uh, is he AFK here? Oh yeah, must be. There's lots of iron. Not lots, but, uh, a decent amount. But, um, anyway, um, I just watched the interview because it just came out yesterday on Netflix, I think. And, um, it was pretty... <laughs> It was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. Uh, honestly, it was a very good movie. Um, by the way, this is the redstone shop. I think he's gonna... Yeah, it's unfinished, but it looks very cool. The roof is very cool. Um, but the interview was a very good movie. Probably one of... What's this? Probably one of the best that I've ever seen, honestly. Um, and I watch at least three, four, five movies a week. But, um, the thing, the thing that's funny about it is the irony with the interview, uh, the movie and North Korea in real life. Because, uh, if you didn't know, supposedly, North Korea threatened to bomb the U.S. mainland and, uh, movie theaters that show the interview. And, um, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen the interview, basically it's about assassinating Kim Jong-un. I think I said that right, I don't know. But, um, basically the whole entire movie was about how messed up North Korea is and how they hate America and, like, uh, how they can't, or how Kim Jong-un can't feed his, like, uh, country. And then, like, um, right after, right after that, uh, like before it even showed somehow people in North Korea saw it I don't know and I suppose uh, Kim Jong-un saw it and I'm pretty sure my facts are correct here I'm not too sure but then he threatened to bomb the US because of that movie which is kind of ironic because the whole entire movie was about how North Korea is just a, like almost um, Nazi like I'd say and I don't use that word lightly, being a Jew. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought I just thought the irony was uh, pretty funny. But um, yeah, and uh, I did organize my chest house, which is cool. But um, we're just gonna get right into it. I need to get as much quartz as I possibly can. I have a heavy hand for quartz when I'm building modern. Don't know if you can tell. It's not modern or anything. Also, this is my horse, Mocha, and it is called... Oh, oh, there we go. And his name is... Mo oh, I took off... Oh, what am I doing? What's going on? There we go. What's happening? Whoa, Mocha, what you doing? Get me off, girl. All right. 
What's happening? Mocha. Mocha, what you doing? What? And Mocha's drunk, but... Um... Her, her or his... I suppose it'd be a her. It's more of a girl name. Uh, name is Mocha because it's um, a mocha color. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna get right to it. The style that I'm doing... Oh, that's a block of iron. That's not coarse. But the style that I'm doing is, um... It's a medieval style, like, <clears throat> the roof is going to be medieval, and the shape is going to be medieval, but, uh, it's going to be modern blocks, so, very interesting style. Um, I don't know why I lag here. I think it might be the chickens. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice, I don't know why it's cracking, but, um, maybe because I'm a 13-year-old boy, that could possibly, uh, be something but um yeah i don't i don't i don't know why i like here uh so if i'm incorrect i think that's my wood chest no nope. this no nope. yeah here we go uh so we're gonna grab that and someone just turned on my shower upstairs <coughs> but it's fine uh <coughs> oh god <coughs> I guess that's just my voice now. It seems like my voice changed, um, tragically, uh, more so recently. I don't know. Um, you know, that brings me into my next thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, that I've been thinking of recently. You know, uh, when people say that life's short, so make the most of it, I'm always like, dude, just shut up. Because life is, um, unless if you believe in an afterlife, which I do, I don't know. Uh, life is probably the most long thing that you'll ever experience. Um, but, I mean, now that I think of it, it is short. Uh, you know, I remember just about, um, a year ago, obviously, since the Super Bowl's coming up again. I remember about a year ago, um, I was watching this YouTube video. And it was Bionni. If you didn't know, I'm a fan of Bionni. By the way, I haven't built m Medieval in such a long time. And this is my first time doing this design. So I don't know how this is going to work. But um, I was watching Bionni. And he uh, he was apologizing for the background noise. Because uh, the Seahawks won the Super Bowl. And he was um, he lives in, what's it called? Uh, Seattle. So, um, it was pretty loud at his house in the streets. Everybody was, like, honking their horn, being crazy drunk football fans. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. My point is that, uh, the Seahawks are in the Super Bowl again, but it's already a year later. And a year used to seem such a long time for me, but, like, YouTube has... I don't know. It's it's like a it's like a whole entire different perspective when I put YouTube into it. Seems like literally just a year ago. Um, no, not uh, a few days ago. My antivirus trial ran out, and uh, it was a one year trial. So that means that it's been one year with my um, good computer. Uh, but it seems like it seems like just. Um, was it a year ago that I was at 200 subscribers or 100? I don't even remember, guys. Uh, man, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Time does fly and life is short. So, really, <clears throat> do make the most of it if you uh, absolutely can. You know, try your hardest uh, to be happy, you know. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy how time flies. You know, I just... I just, um... It all just it all just came zooming by extremely quickly, uh. So it's just it's just crazy. I don't know. I'm just rambling on, but uh, as you see, if you used to watch oh crap, um, I used to uh, do these a lot. This style, or not this style, but uh, medieval style, and um, basically uh, pretend that the quartz are wood blocks, and something else i don't know but uh yeah anyway life is short it's very short um not very as i said it is probably the longest thing that you'll ever experience unless there 
is of course an afterlife uh but you know uh that just that just really hit me because you know i just felt like um 2014 was just uh, a big waste of time for me you know um with youtube definitely uh it was amazing such a long journey i started youtube in 2013 that's crazy to think of have been through uh three years well i've been in three years uh three different years man it's crazy but like it's already 2015 you know um but uh I, d I don't even know where i'm going with this but um this is gonna look cool looks kind of weird right now um we could just uh go like that maybe i don't know um you know, the main character in uh, the interview, I was talking about this earlier, if you don't remember, if you skipped ahead or something. Uh, the main character, his name is Aaron. My name is Aaron. I felt pretty special. Because uh, everybody at school, they were probably like, hey, if they, if they saw the interview, they were probably like, hey, I know someone named Aaron. And, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, definitely been a long journey, this YouTube thing. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just, like, switching back and forth between topics. Now I'm talking about how time flies again. But uh, it's definitely been a crazy journey. And, uh, it's crazy to think that in just half a year, we're, uh, closing in on two years two years of YouTube, that is totally crazy to think of, um, you know, I remember, uh, if, if I started YouTube, it's not over here anymore, if I started YouTube earlier, um, let's say I was older, that would be, uh, definitely better for my channel, because there weren't a lot of YouTubers, and, um, people would grow way quickly, like, I remember, Generic B, he did a video, and he was giving, like, a uh, younger YouTuber, um, YouTubers tips, and he's like, it took me about three months to get my first 600 subscribers, and I'm like, that's fast, you know? Uh, for me, for me at least, that is fast, because, um, it is harder to get noticed on YouTube now, because there are more commentators, and, you know, it's hard to be original. Uh, but I try, I try to be original, I try to have variety, you know, um, I do my drawing, I haven't done that in a while, uh, but I do it, but, um, definitely my channel would have benefited, benefited, what am I saying, benefited if I, uh, was older and if I started YouTube at an earlier age, but, um, or, uh, if I started YouTube at an earlier, uh, time period. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I'm not doing YouTube for the fame, so, you know, if I stay at this amount of subscribers, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be sad, but, um, would I like to grow? Yes, I would like to continue growing, um... That's not all I care about necessarily, but, uh, you know, it just lets me know that, um, I'm doing good, you know? Like, uh, a new subscriber is, like, I guess, uh, getting a good grade on a test. I don't know. I don't know what you relate it to. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of weird having face cam on. Because I'm afraid of looking ugly. Uh, but I, I do most of my recordings at night. After I take a shower. So my hair is going to be down. And, um, you know, I might actually do recording in the morning. If I get to bed soon enough, then uh, I'll be able to wake up early and do recording. But uh, um, I'm going to take a cut right here. I'm going to finish this up. Uh, let me just fill this in. I'm gonna finish this up. 
and I'm gonna do a little bit of the interior and uh, I'll see you guys there I don't want this video to run too long so I'm gonna see you guys in a second All right, <clears throat> everybody, we are done, and I think it looks very cool. Uh, something that I did that was different, I didn't, it looks like a second story belongs, but there is actually no second story. I'm going to show you guys the interior fully in depth after I'm done explaining this. Um, I went with the black stained glass. It looks kind of cool. Uh, it kind of, I don't know, I don't know what kind of looks it gives it, but, uh. It looks very cool, uh, and I enjoy it. So, let's go in. Uh, for some reason, the colors yellow and purple remind me of, um, kind of like a wizard type of place. Uh, I know I'm going for modern here, but, um, if it's an enchant area, I just kind of need for it to be, um, somewhat medieval. So, um, what we are going to do, uh... Snap, I need one more obsidian. Uh, because I want to put another... I want to put another, um... Ender chest in there. Because I think it would look kind of cool with the design that I have. Um, but yes, it looks very cool, I think. I uh, With bookshelves all around. I think it looks really cool and with all the chests. And we're just going to shove some lapis in this chest we're just gonna fill it all up this chest is just gonna be full with lapis and another chest will be full with books um so let's go like that and then let's take three we're actually gonna enchant uh wait let's take um six because we have two books we have <clears throat> alright let's just go for it Let's go for it. We're not even going to look. Alright, protection three. Power four. Not bad. Um, the reason that we're stockpiling on books is, one, we have the PFG shoe shine, And two, you know, why not have a ton of enchanted books? Uh, books aren't that hard to get. And uh, all you have to do is kill some cows, you know. But, um, 
yeah, that's it. it. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the style is medieval, but the blocks make it kind of fit in more with this. So uh, that's cool. I actually picked up this design from the Riverton Castle map on Mineplex. But uh, if you guys ever play on Mineplex, make sure to play on Riverton Castle. And uh, if you guys go to a certain location, you'll kind of understand where I picked up this style from. And I need to make that the same. There we go. That looks good. But um, I'm going to have to end off this episode right here, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Husky's still AFK. We got a ton of iron at the Iron Golem Farm, so that's good. But uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to smack that like button. Um... If you want to see more gaming content daily, make sure to subscribe. Help me get to 500 subscribers by the end of February so we can hit our goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Make sure... S oh, I said that already. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. I'm tired. I have to go. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Purple Fire Gaming. Sending out. See you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to Purple Fire.